Okay. So yeah, the purpose of the call for me is uh, like I'm like trying to move to the Netherlands now, and I'm yet to apply for the visa, but I'm doing the documentation process. So mm. I just completed my masters, and I was like, and Netherlands is offering a one-year look-for-work visa. So mm. I'm like exploring that option to come to Netherlands, you know, and and look for work. And mm. and and it makes sense for me because I come from a sustainability background. So I mm. just completed my uh, masters uh, from the UK. Uh, uh, that's MSc in sustainability and consultancy. So and uh, yeah, that's what my background. Uh, like most of my modules uh, had an element of uh, you know the Dutch way. So mm. they ke kept talking about uh, Netherlands and how Netherlands is. Uh, taking up the the topic of sustainability, how seriously, and uh, so I thought, okay, uh, why not explore this option? And I consulted few people there, like mm -hmm. from the industry uh, through LinkedIn, and uh, got to know if I should take up this move because uh, for me, I feel after coming from the UK, I feel uh, learning the the sustainability from you know these experienced countries makes more sense. Than you know, uh, staying in India and you know starting yeah. the small way, so that is and and I wanted to know your perspective on uh, uh, the opportunities uh, considering I uh, being an Indian and also you know what how would you suggest because you have already stayed there for quite a few years now I guess PhD yeah, I think like, doing, yeah yeah I mean I did my masters for two years and then PhD has been like one and a half years more than oh. one and a half years so in yeah. total you can say like three and a half three years seven months or something like that yeah so i just i just wanted that perspective from your end yeah mm -hmm. so i mean perspective is a very broad thing so <laughs> you mean like language or social integration yeah. or what kind of thing like mm -hmm. uh, yeah, yeah, like language is one thing like do you think language is still a big barrier no, to no, no, an no. international? i mean I always say that in all Skype interviews, I don't know if people will be angry with me, but if you compare to Germany, it's much, much better because in Germany, mm -hmm. when you go, you have that biggest issue because unless you have like A1 or A0 from India, it's very, mm -hmm. very difficult because when you finish mm -hmm. your master's, you need to have a German CV, German mm -hmm. interview, and mm -hmm. for PhD and all, also it's the same thing. like. I mean, compared to that here, 99% of the people speak English and yeah. in job, there is also no such unless sometimes they have, but it's not majorly mm -hmm. favored. Like you need to know that of this level or that level and all the interviews are in English. Even if you need to have that Dutch level, which is very few companies nowadays here. Uh, mostly if you go for any startups which people go after immediately after masters if they don't have work experience everyone doesn't get an mnc so they go for the startups so mm -hmm. in that 100 percent of the cases it's in english but in okay. some of the big companies like uh, except the international companies like maybe uh, actually it's strange because in india accenture and infosys they hire a lot from state universities and other places but here Accenture mm -hmm. and Infosys, they have a strict rule that you need to have this level of Dutch. But, uh, okay. Uh, <laughs> that's mm -hmm. very strange. But disregarding that, if you see other companies like the consultancies, Deloitte, KPMG, KPMG or your uh, uh, Philips and all those things, everywhere you just, you have a good mm -hmm. English, that's fine. You don't need, I mean, so language is not an issue here. Mm -hmm. And social okay. integration, I think it's normal. I mean, because the, I mean, it's very, I mean, it's not something very special or something. The only mm -hmm. thing, I mean, I, the reason I didn't make video on this, I was planning to make a video on this because there are many videos in YouTube, like why, how is the Dutch culture and how do you yeah. compare it to your country? So I don't want to make the same repetitive thing. So I just <laughs> wanted to make something different, like based on my view, what are the five important things or four important things? So based on that, one thing is the language, as I said, is very friendly for the language. There's no barrier. And the mm -hmm. second thing is the, they are all, you might have read it many places, like they are very direct in nature, like yeah. Uh, yeah, that's what the I heard, way yeah. they interact and everything. So it's completely true. I mean, you go to any parts of Netherlands, it's always mm -hmm. like that, like, uh, uh, they say what they mean like sometimes okay. you might feel something but that's how it is so they are very honest and they say what they feel in the face mm -hmm. uh, so mm -hmm. they don't care like uh, I mean what 
happens in most places in India. Like you have that uh, sometimes you feel something and you feel oh you will feel bad and I will just don't say or something. Yeah. So it's not like that. They just say it. What so in a way that is good because if you are doing a job or uh, doing a PhD or something, if you have weekly interviews or meetings, then mm-hmm. you just know how you are performing. It's not like yeah. something is uh, just okay. cut and in the front and you just don't mm-hmm. see it. And regarding the social life, I mean, you will find a lot of international. So depending on your company, sometimes some companies, some local startups, you might not find that much internationals. But okay. uh, in most PhDs and most MNCs, like if you go to Philips and Deloitte and other places, you'll find a lot of internationals. Like I've seen, I mean, especially in our PhD, there are like people from Russia, people from Mexico, Nepal, mm-hmm. uh, China, uh, India, and uh, I think there was one from Spain. So there are many people like uh, it's a lot rich variety. And nowadays you see like everywhere uh, Indians are going like, I mean, they were going to US. I'm not saying that US has declined, but I'm saying here it has increased like uh, not only Netherlands, but people are also coming to Switzerland and other places in Europe like Sweden, Germany, Belgium. Mm-hmm. Uh, even yeah, even in the in the UK, people have yeah, I've actually seen like people have reduced now because of.